just real quick before we start the video guys i want to show you what these numbers mean so for 60 10 you got the first two numbers is going to be your tensile strength 60,000 pounds the number one is the position it could be welded on um which is in this case number one is all position rod zero is the coating and the weld current that you got to use to burn the rod so it's all position rod as well as the 7018 7018 is also an all position rod it is not recommended to weld 7018 downhill because it does not penetrate it's not a penetrating rod but it will penetrate more going uphill so if you need to whip this bad boy out just go ahead and run it uphill you want to run some downhill guys go with the 5p beat rod penetrating rod all right Right here, Jose is running about 100 amps, 1 8 60 tens. Try to get the march out real quick for you guys. The whipping motion is to cool the photo, but you go back into the photo as you're, as you're progressing forward. Whip, but go back into the photo. Don't make a skip. Cooling the photo going back. Cooling the photo going back. I want you guys to pay attention to the way he's got his angle going and his positioning, how he's pointing the rat, the rod in that per, uh, precise angle. That's the kind of angle you guys want. Turning his wrist, as you can see, with the pipe. He's not staying stagnant in the same angle. He's going with the pipe. That's what I want you guys to pay attention to. That's, positioning is the most important thing when it comes to welding. Yeah, the photo is cool watching it, but if you don't really know how to position yourself, you're never gonna understand the photo to its full extent. Positioning, really important, guys. All right, we're ready for the 7018. He's running a 1.8 rod ESAP at about 120 amps. And again, guys, that's just a number. Every machine is different. So just go based off a of photo. He knows his machine, so that's where we're going. We're gonna put a two beat cap. So he's focusing his heat on the bottom toes. And he's really just dragging that rod in there. That's the way the photo should look, guys. Consistent. Depositing metal on the same location right at the bottom of the toes of the well.
damn it, boy. Why is it doing that? Is it supposed to do that? It is? All right, guys. Well, that's what you call a slick whale right there. That's what you want to shoot for. Woo! Beautiful. Similar angle rod. But now, instead of whipping, it's just a drag rod. 7018 low hydrogen, guys, so. Just check out its positioning. Slowly depositing metal in there. The point with thick rod is being able to keep the same distance between the end of your rod and the end of the metal. You gotta have the same distance at all times when you're depositing the metal. Otherwise, you don't have a lot of buck shots or cold rolls. He's moving his wrist along the pipe. Hey, what the hell are you doing over there, boy? at his line of sight he's staying ahead of the photo he's not really focusing on what he's leaving behind but what's in front of that photo Positioning changed a little bit on this one, as you can see from the rod angle, it's coming with a less of a degree between this level and this angle right here. But as you can tell, the product's still the same. So there it is, guys. 2V cap, flat, 120 amp, 7018. Pretty slick, huh? Side to side. One, two, 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 one, two. Thirty-two, seventy, eighteen, around eighty amps.
side to side, zigzag, side to side, zigzag. Make sure you go all the way to the top. All the way to the top, finish that tying. Just a weave motion, side to side. Don't spend too much time in the middle, otherwise you're gonna get a crowned middle. Crowned up weld, you're punched over. Side to side. Slick weld, boy. Look at that. That's what you want right there. You want it to flake off on its own. Light angle pushed uh, with the rod facing up, so consider that, guys. Seventy eighteen one eight hundred and ten amps. 